So, um, so what I'd like to do, ladies and gentlemen, is I'd like to show you how to factor this problem. Um, to take a look at that, Kiana, what we have to do is remember when we're trying to factor it out, we want to write it as a product, right? So to write something as a product, what we can do is if we can find something that we can divide out, well, that remaining, remainder of it, is going to uh, give you your other factor that you can multiply by. Okay, well, we want to make sure we multiply by the greatest common factor, so therefore we're going to have two prime factors when we multiply them. So what I want to do is I want to look at x plus x squared times y plus x squared times y squared. And I want to say, what is the largest term that we can divide into all of them? All right? And a lot of people, some people will say, oh, well, they x squared, right? Well, we have an issue right here because we can't divide our x squared, our x divided by x squared. Remember, if we did x divided by x squared, by rule of exponents, we have x to, um, to the first minus second equals x to the negative first power, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we we're not going to be dealing with um, our negative with our negative powers. Okay, so x squared is not going to work. However, how about we take a look at um, x? Do all of these have an x term? Can we divide an x into all of them? And the answer is yes. The next thing is, well, I want to look. Is there anything else? There's no number coefficient, so we don't have to worry about numbers. But then I look at the y's, and this carries a y. I can divide y squared by y. I can divide y by y, but I cannot divide an x by y as they're not, they're not like terms, all right? So the only thing I can do is I can divide each one of these terms by an x. So what I'm going to do is when I divide them by x, my result is going to be my other factor because x is my greatest common factor that I divide out. So let's just look at it. x divided by x, what does that look like? Well, x divided by x, right, equals 1. Then I have x squared y divided by x. What does that look like? Well, remember, x squared divided by x, what do we do with the exponents when we divide? You subtract. 2 minus 1 is 1, so that's just going to give you an x to the first power, but then that y is still going to be there, right? Because you can't divide your y by the x. They're not like terms. Plus, what about if we do x squared divided by y squared? Well, I'm still going to get the same x term, and then I'm just going to still have my y squared there. So that's going to be plus um, x y squared. Now I look at my other factor. And it's really important for you guys to do this. Look at your other factor and determine, is there anything else that these share? Is there anything else that these share? Yeah. And no, they don't share. The, I mean, these two have x's and y's, but this one doesn't share it as well, right? So therefore, I have factored out the greatest common factor. So therefore... This is my factored form. Okay, so when I say factor, that's what I'm going to want to be looking at. All right?